That is the sound of the Bagley High School Pep Band performed at the Bagley Flyers homecoming football game on a cool, foggy Friday night. The Pep Band consists of trumpet players, trombones, saxophones, clarinets, flutes, and percussion. The purpose of Pep Band is to entertain the crowd, have school spirit, and play songs everyone loves during the game. While many small town high schools have ditched their Pep Band, Bagley High School brought back the Pep Band two years ago after a seven year hiatus. I have always felt that Pep Band was one of the most fun things to do as a band member. That is Josh Gunderson, who has been the band director at Bagley High School for 11 years. In 2014, the Bagley School Board shut down the Pep Band due to its low participation. With kids eager to play fun music, Mr. Gunderson and his students asked the school board two years ago to bring back the Pep Band, and it has certainly paid off. It's, it's something that's very visible. Uh, we're at you know volleyball games and football games, um, you know, and little kids can can see the band playing and see you know, how much fun they're having, and some of them may think, "I want to do that someday." The pep band consists of students from seventh to twelfth grade. Eighth grade trombone player Jesse Gunderson has found pep band to be a good start to his opportunities to play music. It challenges to play higher and harder music which makes you which with more fast upbeats. Jesse has also found it easier to meet new people and make friends in the pep band. There's many good kids in pep band and they all want social interaction and they're all friendly because, you know, they like the same stuff. Bagley High School's volleyball coach, Sarah Schweigel, has noticed the impact the pep band has had during volleyball games. The atmosphere has just become so lively and the pep band has a huge, huge role in that change for us. They bring so much energy over there. The girls notice it, I notice it. We appreciate it so much that they're doing that. The pep band is a relatively small band, averaging about 16 students per night. But Mr. Gunderson has found a way the band can project itself despite its size. Loud. We make up in numbers, we, we overcompensate by playing probably too loud. I think it's okay to play really loud when you're outside because, you know, the sound kind of goes everywhere. So we make up it with enthusiasm. Bagley High School senior and French horn player Matteo Reynolds has been in the pep band since he was a sophomore and has allowed him to fall in love with music. I really like the, um, the purpose it's given me. Uh, it makes me feel bigger than just myself. I think it brings an environment to the school that not other clubs can bring. Mateo will be graduating in the spring of 2024 and hopes the younger students can follow his representation in the pep band. To keep pursuing what they're doing, I think music is a really strong uh, thing to learn and just I overall make them a better person. This year, the success of the pep band has encouraged more students to join, filling up the band with excitement and fun memories to come. Just noticing from this year, from the years past, it's growing. That whole section is like starting to become full. Mr. Gunderson is getting kids excited about it. And then the leaders in that group, I'm proud of them for, for stepping up and getting that started because it takes people to do that and it takes the right people. And I think that we have some of those people now. So it's, um, I'm very proud of that. The fans at Bagley High School are proud of the pep band bringing the juice to football and volleyball games, and will continue to do that for years to come. For Dragon Radio, I'm Jacob Anderson.